Mounts, mounts, mounts. Potato. As a gold farmer, I know a little something about farmable mounts. So today we'll be going over every farmable mount, but sellable mounts in game. Let us begin. Starting off this list, we have the Reigns of Poseidus, which of course can be farmed from one of the world bosses amply named Poseidus. This world boss can be farmed in the zone of Vashir. There are five spawn locations for this boss, four being in the Shimmering Expanse, and one located in the Abyssal Depths. Waypoints are located on the screen, but also in the description for ease of use. This can also be found within the Worth It Guides add-on if you do not have it already. This boss has roughly a four to eight hour respawn timer, and as such, it is wise to camp this area with a druid for extra swim speed to farm this location faster. This mount is 100% drop chance and can sell for a moderate amount of gold depending very much on how much it is farmed on your server. Which leads us on to another 100% drop chance mount at number two. Is the Garn Night Howl from the Warlords of Draenor expansion. Make your way over towards the Frostfire Ridge at coordinates 13.6 to 51.0. Here you will find a rare elite called Not Karosh. The respawn timer for this mob is 20 minutes upon killing on average, but I have had it spawn in in the past within 16 minutes just for reference. With this mount being very easy to obtain, the price for this mount is significantly the lowest of all farmable mounts. Though if you were to farm this mount for a little extra gold every day, then farming this in a casual manner is your best option. Next up on our list at number three, we have the Great Sea Ray. Brought to us from the Battle for Azeroth expansion, the Great Sea Ray can be farmed by the use of the profession fishing. The way in which you obtain this from fishing is farming it off of coastal waters from Zandalar and Kilteras. The drop chance from fishing is around 0.1% chance, so it is wise to farm the best selling fish from BFA to maximize your gold. Which brings us into number four, the Reigns of the Tame Blood Feaster can be farmed from any mob within the BFA zone of Nazmir. The best farming location is at coordinates 68.8 to 51.6, where you'll be farming Blood Hunters. At roughly a 2% drop chance for this mount to drop, you'll be grinding out these mobs until you gain a drop. However, I can speak from personal experience that this took a good couple of hours to obtain, so be prepared for this. Another BFA mount is the Captured Dune Scavenger. Instead of farming in Nazmir, you want to make your way over to the zone of Voldoon. Here you'll be farming for the Faithless Sand Scouts at coordinates 30.6 to 54.8. These are great for farming for this at a 2% drop chance for the mount, as this will near on always have at least one mob up at a time which is perfect for consistently farming until you obtain the mount. Following on to this, we shall make our way over to Kill Terras. And in the zone of Stormsong Valley, you will have a chance of obtaining the Golden Mains Reigns from any mob in the zone. However, this mount is best farmed from the Shipwright Loyalists at coordinates 70.6 to 51.8. This and all BFA mount excluding the Great Sea Ray is best farmed in a five man or two times four group. And at a drop chance of 0.2%, this would be the best way about going for this mount, as this is one of the higher end mounts to obtain and sell. Finishing off our list at number seven is the chewed on reins of the terrified pack mule, which like before, you will need to make your way over to Kulturas, but head over to the zone of Drustvar. This is a zone wide drop, but some areas are better than others due to mob density and respawn rate. You want to make your way over towards coordinates 32.6 to 24.6 and slay the hex thralled mobs in the nearby area. At a 0.03% chance, this mount is incredibly hard to obtain, but all is not lost. 
as the price that this mount sells for is reflective of this and can easily be sold for a decent chunk of gold. So hopefully you like this video of all of the farmable and sellable mounts in game. Have a wonderful rest of the day guys and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.